university was expanding. It's now the largest English-speaking Catholic university in the world, and Australian Catholic University particularly has been the fastest growing university in the country. So the student numbers were rising. So we needed to find a way of utilizing the space in a more efficient and effective manner. But at the same time, we also needed to provide space that uh, accommodated their students' need for individual, group, and quiet study spaces, but also space which, where they can discuss. So that was severely lacking. We needed a moot court, and that had a number of design elements. We needed to attend to the acoustic requirements of the space. It needed to model a court space that students could use it as a clinical practice space for their law course. But it also needed to have the flexibility so that we could use it for an audio-visual space and for other tutorial spaces. So it has to work hard for us. had a number of key stakeholders that needed to be heard and at times they're not absolutely sure exactly what they want. They know the problem so they can pose the design challenge and the iterative nature of the way the big city design team was able to work with the staff to listen to the, the various stakeholders and come back with design solutions and, and possible ways to address the concerns gave staff a whole lot of confidence in the process. They, they absolutely felt engaged in that process. They work with the students directly, so they know exactly, better than I do in fact, they know what the students really want. So it was important that their perspectives and their opinions were, were heard and they presented us uh, a number of design options in a very professional manner. The design uh, was presented in a very thoughtful manner to be sure that different audiences at those meetings actually understood what was being conveyed. So it was, it was a very good experience. It was a very good experience for all of us. I like the graphics, the murals that have been used, that was very much about grounding this refurbishment as part of the broader community. So the images are ones of the local North Sydney space, but also include a couple of really significant images, Mary McKillop, for example, that uh, connect this learning space to the, the broader university and the broader North Sydney community. Some of the standout features would in fact be the variety of the spaces, various flexible spaces that provide choices. The palette that's been used is one that the users are very comfortable with and the, and the staff feel um, that it's so fresh. The university is very proud of this, the, the result. Um, I think it's important to have seen what it looked like before and then appreciate what it has become. To me that is where you actually see the transformation of the space uh, and the, the university is very very happy about its investment. Well the students are very proud and, and very pleased to have the space uh, which is, is very exciting. The staff feel very affirmed uh, and very proud of the space and in fact their colleagues on other campuses are, are envious of uh, what's been able to be achieved here. I think for the university it is a good model of staff engaging in the design process, having very capable designers that listen carefully, bring a wealth of experience around design solutions to helping that conversation but not driving it and gently leading with what I see as a very authentic respect for what the key users have in their mind, but maybe lack a way to articulate. Mm -hmm.